YouTube, it's Rick Rawlings, and welcome back to another edition of Let's Play Wings Over Flanders Fields. We are uh, rejoining Reinhold Reinhardt after mission 25 he's hung in there for. So we're going to have to head off to the campaign here. Look, I can one thing I can tell you about this guy right here, he was in Yasta 27. Oh yeah, I went there. What are you going to say, Elite Squadron? Alright, let's see how we're doing here. So here we are, we have 11 out of 12 uh, Fliegers ready to go, but we're short some uh, some aircraft as of the latest couple of missions here. So we'll uh, advance a few days, and then we'll see where that stands, let's see if we get some, uh, so we got two machines being repaired, and we got some on order, so let's see. Alright, so we've gone forward a couple of days to the 21st of February. Still short some uh, some aircraft here, but we're going to take a flight anyway, since last time all we really did was do some uh, cruising around in our DR-1. So we'll see if they've got a mission for us. Let's just double check the time. Uh, 9.41, but it is winter in France, so I don't know what their, their clock schedule is like for dawn. So we'll push it back a little bit just to make sure. Plenty of daylight. Okay, we're going to be patrolling enemy front lines. That sounds like our our bag if we get that far if they let us get that far so if we zoom in you can see the actual strip of front that we're going to patrol is pretty minuscule compared to our, our actual flight time this is our circle up so we're going to move that up no need to fly away from where we're going Just put it right on our path there and let's take a look at our so we're doing it's our round trip here 23 miles 112 miles, no, that's our, so 46 miles round trip. Actually, we're going to, so we'll stay at about 75, but we'll get everybody else to that. So we got two DR1s and one uh, D5 that wants to zip away from us. All right, I guess we'll just meet you at the field. Hey, here we are on the field. Uh, get the old engine up and running. Take a quick look around. The weather is uh, weather's pretty good for February. Sun is well up in the sky. Don't see any immediate uh, enemy aircraft. Quick look at our... And there goes Herr Gehring. So I guess we'd better go along with him. Try not to take off too fast. Don't want to shred my way. Whoa! Hey, excuse me. Taken off here. Okay, we're up and at them. Get that mixture control all the way down. I don't know why they have such a throw on it if you only need like the last quarter of it or so there. Um, we're going to head off to the climb point and uh, then head out towards the front. Again, like there's like, maybe like two clouds. Where's I saw? I think I saw a hint of a cloud somewhere. Where's the cloud? Or maybe not. At any rate, I think it's safe to say that there's barely a cloud in the sky, so we'll head off and bring you back. Okay, so it looks like we've got aircraft that are getting flacked over here by dark flak, which would be us. So I'm guessing that's going to be enemies. So we may have the... yeah, looks like our guys are maneuvering, so we may have a chance to get into some trouble here. Of course, since we're in DR1s, if they want to just kind of take their ball and go home, they almost certainly could, but we'll see. As I attested to earlier, there's hardly a cloud in the sky. There's like a half dozen here or so. There goes Herr Gehring. Into it. What are these guys? Oh, they're uh, they're two-seater, two 
your, uh, what are they? Harry Tates, maybe? Or Quartz? I think they're Harry Tates. They got the... I can't remember which one has that extreme shorter wing. I think he's going for him. I'll come over and try to pick on this guy that's a little outside the... Like I said, it's a lot of rudder, a lot of rudder work on these. I can't, I don't even imagine like trying to do this with a twist rudder, not having pedals. Very difficult, I think. I mean my attempts to there we go. approximately right. Reinhold Reinhardt stuck in their plane. Look out for the count. Might be wool. Try to keep an eye on him. One of the best things you get I found, one of the only things I can do is to try to Oops, what's up here? Let's pay more attention to these guys. It's another flight of, that's another flight of, uh, recon. It's like, you have to find some point on the ground to fix on where the plane was when you last saw it. So now I've kind of lost him. We can claim he's driven down at least. All right, where'd these guys go? Oh wait, that's an SC5. This is a quick reminder, you can see there's black smoke, black flak, and gray, gray bursts around here too, so... Not doing it at the moment. The black bursts are for the British planes, and the gray bursts are for us. Which is a nice, it's a nice feature that they have. Say it again. Um, flying in a cloudless sky is—you would think it would be nice, but I actually find it quite a bit harder to identify enemy aircraft in a clear, in a clear skies than I do with uh, a little bit of clouds for them to stand out against. They just tend to vanish into the horizon a little bit. Right now, I've just kind of lost everybody. Alright, what's my heading? I am heading northwest. Let's try to spiral up a little bit.
think I'm unscathed. I don't think that guy hit me at all. box in front of you is pretty good, but other than that, it's hard to see things. So I'm going to see if I can find where everybody else went and join up with them, or find some other trouble to get into, and we'll bring you back. So, when you think of the, the games that you really enjoy, you probably, like, you'll probably think about, they're fun, but all the little nitpicky things will pop into your mind, and you are like, man, this game was perfect if they would just blah, 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 blah. And sometimes you forget about how great things are. And so, one of the little joys that Wings Over Flanders Fields has that always delights me is, sometimes you'll be flying along, and your lost wingman will come up, come along, and he'll just kind of form up on you. <laughs> so, like this guy is my uh, the other guy in my flight whose name I uh, forget. He's, he's new. You know, everybody in my squadron's new, and I haven't learned his name yet. But he's just joining up with me, and he's gonna. So I don't know if I don't know if Gehring, uh broke off from the flight and went home, or maybe his plane was damaged and he went down. But this guy is gonna become my. You know, you'll form a new little flight group, and they'll follow you around, and you'll become the flight leader. And it's—I don't—I'm not exactly sure, from a program standpoint, what they do to make that work. I'm sure there's some sort of like leadership structure in a group. They group together airplanes, and then one's the senior airplane, and when one is destroyed, it, the leadership falls to the next airplane. I mean, they do that in like Arma, for example. I've done some Arma programming, and you can have your uh, squad leader goes down, the guy will say, I'm the new actual, and we'll take over. So it's probably something like that, but this is a pretty old game to do that in. But at any rate, it is one of my one of my joys, one of my little secret joys that I have of Wings Over Flanders Field, and so we're going to buzz around just us little, our little element here, and I guess see if we can find any more trouble, and if not, we'll head back. How you doing, buddy? Holy cow. So we got a big bunch of something going on over here. Looks like there's definitely, I can see albatross tails, and can't tell who they're fighting, but looks like it's roughly evenly split, so maybe we'll climb up and uh, have a go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 ish. So that's a fur ball right there. This guy's already going down. Oh, he's chasing. It's going out of control. Alright, so we're going to try to gain some altitude and then come in at the fight at a point of our choosing here. This guy is already ch champing at the bed, I think. He's anticipating. Let's do another quick check and make sure that 
somebody is going to try to do to us what we're going to try to do to them. Oh, that albatross is being chased by somebody. Maybe we can help out. I can get over there. Again, buckets of rudder you need in this plane. Also try to keep, that's our, that's our escape route over there. Eye on our escape route. Uh oh. Uh oh. I think our guys are getting the worst of it, is what it looks like. It's hard to tell for sure. Alright. Press on. You with me there? Yeah, these are. Camels or SC5As maybe. Can't quite decide. Well, at any rate, let's see if we can dissuade what they're doing. Crash into my buddy. Let him go. Up at me? Alright. Alright. Fine. Fine. You want to be that way? They're there. Stop with, stop with camels. You see the snub nose. Fuel, whatever. Still got enough for a fight. Oh my god. This guy just wants me to rip my wing off. It's like you haven't ripped yeah. You haven't ripped your wing off in one flight. Down into his, trying to pull me down into his ground fire here. Let's see if we can. Get some shots on him. There. That may have done him in.
Whether they're Dinamite or not, let's let's uh, contend with his friend. thickness of the flak and the lowness, lowness of our altitude. We're going to let that guy go. There's... Yeah, it's that right there. That's probably cows. I thought this might be infantry, but... Let's get out of here. we got low fuel anyway. Stalked by anybody. Well, that was that was a uh, two good fights. That was a kind of exciting little like a eight v eight or so. I'm not entirely sure who won definitely saw a couple of our guys that seemed to be getting the worst for it, but then we gave the worst to it to a couple of theirs as well. So. I'm going to probably at this point just head back to the nearest aerodrome and land, and we'll bring you back for the landing. I don't know what happened to my, my buddy. He probably bugged out and went for home. So we'll see you there. So here's our divert field, which is awfully close to the, that's the front right there. It's like the front right there. So it's awfully close to the front, but what I will say is, there's no trees around it, so it's already eight times better in my book. Pretty exciting, looks like these guys coming in the land. Pretty exciting mission there, a couple of uh, good skirmishes. DR1 held up pretty famously. I'm hoping that this isn't going to become, the series isn't going to become like Star Trek movies where only every other one is good, but uh, we do our best. That's kind of what makes this interesting is there's no scripted, no canned missions. Everything is sort of randomly generated and it gives you the sense of like the real war pilots. You never knew. Were you going to have a killer mission on your hands or were you just going to fly around the front for a while and come home? Or was your wing going to rip completely off almost? So that's one of the joys of, uh, of a game that's kind of like this. A little short of the field, looks like, but not too bad. Better than rolling way past it, I guess. Let's head over, get out of these guys' way, and then we will head back and... Oh my god, it's right on my tail. Uh, we'll head back and see what we can find out in the mission brief there. Yeah, that guy's steady as a rock as he's coming down. I wish I could land like that guy does. I wish I could see where it's going, too. Well, welcome to the debrief portion of the mission. So, 56 minutes, and I'll tell you, my arm was kind of sore there at the end. The uh, My joystick has some pretty heavy springs on it, and like I said, there's you have to have constant forward pressure on the DR1. It's it's tail-heavy, and so that's a that's quite a hard one to fly. Um, so we got some claims here we'll put in. Two machines landed safely. Let's see what happened to uh, Goering. DR1. He's okay. He just landed. I guess he landed somewhere else. Oh, wow. That was pretty good for us. Look, two, three, and two. So it's Carl. Carl. Carl Romberg. Got uh, two, two as well. 
Oh, Goring was forced to land. Okay. So I'm going to use Carl as my uh, as my witness. As Carl is my witness, um, I shot down two aircraft and look, I'm smoking these guys in the the hit percentage. Pleased with that, considering my. You guys know from watching my videos that my aim is not that great in these things. And we got another one with the other flight. Yeah. Hey, Jasta Jast 27 is back, baby. We are back. That's uh, two, five, seven, eight against none. We we lost nobody. That's pretty good. So Carl Romberg, let's go check that out. Check that out. Right there. So my first one, I'm going to claim a two-seater. I think it was probably uh, Harry Tate. But not 100% sure, so I can do twin seater type. Um, Jerbear in the Jerbear in the forums is going to chew me out that I've been playing this game for 15 years and I still don't know my two seaters. But that's true. I still don't know them. Stop with camel, and let me get these all typed up, and then I'll I'll bring you back for the wrap up here. All right, we got these written up here. Let's go take a look and see what happened. So we've got one aircraft shot down, Carl Romberg, two. I'll back, I'll back Carl if he backs me up. I'll, we'll back each other up there. Yeah, let's see, anybody's Albatross DVA lightly damaged. DR1 lightly damaged. Okay. Victories, victories. Yeah, all right, two, two for us confirmed. Let's take a let's take a look at our pilot here. See how Reinhardt's doing. Uh, Seventeen confirmed kills. Look at that, pretty good. The uh, DR1 is did pretty well in that fight. Does uh, does everything you wanted to do except escape. So if you want to escape, you're kind of out of luck. Let's see. Confirmed. And RFC 70. Yeah, I was kind of suspicious that's who it was. Okay. Well, that is a that is a nice turn of events for our elite squadron, Yasta 27. Eight enemy aircraft down. No losses to ourselves. Maybe this is the start of our coming back. Going to win this war. Uh, so I appreciate you guys uh, joining me here. Just as a, a real life note, as I am recording this uh, tomorrow, I potentially have jury duty. So if you're not uh, from America and you're watching this from somewhere else, periodically we have uh, we get called up for jury duty. So you have to go in and maybe sit on a jury. Um, I'll have to check later on to see if they need me. They always call a certain bunch of people and sometimes they don't need them all. So if you go in, then you uh, go to a waiting room and you might get, they, there's like maybe, I don't know, 50, 60 people in there and they take a certain bunch of them and then those people potentially get selected for for juries. I have been in twice before and have never gotten past, I think I've been in three times, never gotten past the, the waiting room. So they, hi, they take a bunch of people and then they'll pick, you know, a group based on their number and pull them out and my number is always uh, so high that I've never actually served on a jury, but that is kind of your, your civic duty. If you are uh, in America, I'm sure other countries have something similar. So this is kind of a interesting side note. So I'll let you know next time if I actually got called up and served on a jury. So thanks for checking us out. I hope you enjoyed this uh, latest edition. Uh, it was a pretty exciting mission. So I imagine you would, if you've liked them up to this point, hopefully we'll be back at it hard hitting next time. Uh, this is Rick Rawlings saying take care out there, and I look forward to you guys joining us the next time we play Wings Over Flanders Fields. Catch you later.